Now this video is for those of you who have bought a telemetry radio set for the Arju Pilot Mega or one of the other clones and uh, you need to get these to work with your laptop and communicate with your Arju Pilot. So you can see the one that's connected to the Arju Pilot right now is blinking and the problem usually is when you plug in the notebook side of your telemetry radio set that you can't get a lock and I'll show you how that works you go in here plug it into the USB port and you'll hear the typical doo doot and it'll probably come up and try to install a driver or whatever and if you watch that carefully it may say that it could not find a driver if you don't notice that you may think it's connected and what happens is when you go and try to hit the connect button here and try to uh, make a link sometimes it will not work in my case it's working right now because I've installed the driver so there it is is done and it connected but uh, if it doesn't work what I found is that Windows just won't automatically load the driver sometimes and I've got Windows 7 and it's supposed to have a driver for it but quite often it doesn't in fact in most cases I found it does not so what you have to do is find a driver online now I've tried to search for one and it isn't easy so what I did was I went to where I purchased the radio actually it's where Uncle Deke purchased the radio but he got it on Banggood now you can also find uh, driver files on Hobby King sometimes, but I'm just going to show you how we did it with Banggood. They have a link right here that says these are the compatible Windows drivers. So you copy that link. It's not clickable, but you can do copy link up here. Or just right click on it and do copy. And then you go to a new tab, paste the link in right at the top and then after you click enter I'll highlight it there and then I just hit enter but what it'll do is download it down here and once you get it downloaded you can go ahead and unzip it it's a zip file so you go ahead and unzip it and I put it in the folder here it's the CP210X underscore VP or VCP Windows drivers right there okay I'm gonna open up that folder and you can see where I've copied all the drivers in and there's an install file here there's one for the 64-bit and one for the x86 processor so you have to find out what version you have and you can do that by going down to uh, computer here right click and go to properties and then if you look in this information I can see that I've got the 64-bit operating system right there so once you find that out run the appropriate one in my case it's the 64-bit so I just run it and I'm gonna go ahead and say yes and next and I accept the usual Windows stuff and and now it's finished and you'll see you'll have a silicon laboratories driver right here that's the one you're looking for now if we go into the device manager I'll bring that up and you look under com ports here you'll now have silicon lab CP210X USB driver right there I'll show you, I'll go ahead and just uninstall that driver. Okay, uninstalled it. Now when I plug in my radio, I'm going to take the radio back out, the telemetry radio. Alright. And now when I plug it in, watch what happens. You hear that doo-doot? And you'll get this. Now you see, that's what you usually run into 
when it's not working. You'll have this right here, CP2102 USB to UART bridge controller. And that'll just sit there and you can never get it to work until you download the driver and install it. And then once you install the driver, it'll come back uh, with that Silicon Labs uh, thing instead, which is right here. And it'll say Silicon Labs. So that's what you do. And once you have this Silicon Labs installed, you can look and you see it's on COM10 right there. So now you know where to get it and how to install it. And once it's installed, then you can connect with the Mission Planner. And if you look, I've got it on COM10 up here. I know it's COM10, but you can just pull this down and usually the only COM port available will be listed here. And there it is, COM10. I'm using 57600 for the baud rate, which is pretty standard for the radios. You use a higher baud rate when you're using USB. But then you just connect, and it gets the parameters. Okay, so you can see there was over 300 parameters that it downloaded, and now it's done. And you can see when I move the Arju Pilot here that the screen, you can see the artificial horizon moving and so forth there. So it is working. Now I'll turn on the radio. And when I turn on the radio, I should be able to go to manual mode and fail safe went away because I've got a signal now. And so that's pretty much all there is to it, to connecting your radios. And I know a lot of people have problems with these radios not connecting with each other. Uh, so there you go. I hope that helps. It's really just a driver problem most of the time. So you don't need to mail your radios back and get new ones because a lot of times it's just a driver problem. And Windows is very finicky. So that's it, folks. We'll talk to you later. I hope this helps some people with these telemetry radios.